Okay, um... But I cannot just jump through the window, but it's closed. Dark Rose, you like that also? <laughs> yeah, humor of this game is good. Even in situations like that, they find a bit of humor. Uh, this is a room of a Patrick Petrina, employee of Markov. Okay, nothing here really. And the priest again. I feared that secular maniac would carve you up like the others. Meet me outside. We're close now. Hmm. Fucking priest, man. I don't like priests in real life, and this guy is not better. Oh, barbecue. How nice. Like I said, I don't like priests in real life, and this guy is just... A perfect example why I don't like them. Checking if there's anything here, maybe some batteries or something on the bodies, but no. Okay, let's go through that door then. Let's see what's here. I have met some weird priests in real life. Yes, I did. I actually did. Um, I actually did, to be honest. Weird and unfriendly and very... Uh, usually either greedy or in your face. Jesus will save you and if you don't believe in Jesus, you will burn in hell. Uh, kind of priests. Or Jesus will save you, but I will still uh, talk smack about you and uh, All of it. pretend Mark I'm righteous. So much from us. Used us, turned us into these things because nobody cares about a few forgotten lunatics. So let it burn. Burn the whole goddamn thing down. Look at all the fire. Mm. And go through there to the kitchen, you said. How do I get there? Not there, here, right here. Okay, and here. Die in a fire. Um, nothing here. I remember we'll be going back here later. I think if I uh, turn on the fire extinguishers or something like that. 
nothing here, this is closed, let's go. Squeeze here, alright. Okay, it's saved here, so let's go back and let's see what's in that uh, one room that I skipped. Maybe there's like a battery or something. Although I have four batteries already. I could also go here, right? Is there something here that I didn't pick up? Or... Yeah, there's some documents. Okay. Uh, if you're seeing this, say something. There's no shame in psychological proximity stress disorder. Talk to your supervisor to get help from Mark of Success counselor. Yeah. Sure, bro. Give me some batteries. No batteries? Fuck you then. Fuck you then. By the way, I always switch batteries when they fully deplete. I don't know how you guys play the game, but for me always switching the batteries when they fully deplete is the best way, because I feel I'm saving up some energy. You always see things? <laughs> yeah, like me. Uh, there's no water in the system, you must first turn on the two walls. Okay. Oh, I remember this place. Yeah, there's gonna be some crazies. There are gonna be some crazies. Yep. Gotta be efficient. Yep, gotta be efficient. Exactly. Exactly. Hey there, high five. Welcome to the stream, bro. Okay. okay. He's going away. By the way, this is the big guy, so this is gonna be a big problem if he catches me. Okay, and now I can reload. Battery. Yeah, big guy. What's his name? Walker? I think his name is Walker. Not to mistake with Paul Walker, because he was a nice guy and he's dead. This guy isn't nice and he doesn't want to die. What he wants to do is rip my head off, which is not nice, not a nice thing to do. Uh, no, actually it's not my first playthrough. Uh, high five. I did play this game like when it came out, so a couple of years back, but I don't remember most of the things here, so it's it's not like... Um, I have a lot of uh, memory. about this game. I remember the story, more or less, uh, but I don't remember most of the like uh, situations and things like that. Okay, well, Valtor, I, I think I'm pronouncing your name right, right? Valtor or Walter? Thanks for watching today, bro. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. And thank you for the good luck. Oh fuck, no, 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 no! Fuck! Oh no, 
he almost got me there. Yeah, I didn't know where he went, so that was. Whew. Okay, let's uh, let's get some green tea. Let's put myself some green tea to calm my nerves, right? Like I said, I'm not really a guy that gets very uh, very spooked by games, um, but. Something in Outlast uh, really is... Shit is gonna get me. Hopefully not. High five. Hopefully not. Yeah, but like I said, I'm not really... You probably noticed already that I'm not really, like, a very... Uh, easily frightened. Especially jump scares almost never even get to me. Um, but the, the theme of Outlast, at least the first part of the game, where... All of those crazy people and crazy psychopaths are trying to kill your character. That part of the game really scares me. Maybe you don't see it that much on, on my face and on, in my reactions. Uh, but like I said, I'm kind of resistant to jump scares and things like that. But the idea of the first part of the game with all of the crazies and, and just psychopaths is very scary for me. Um... Sometimes a jump scare will, will get me, but overall they usually don't. However, really, the big guy is just standing there. Did you see that? I almost basically moved in his fucking uh, side. Uh, but but the idea of this game, like I said, for me is very very scary. Cause it's I think like we uh, talked earlier, it's basically the most uh, the most realistic thing in a uh, horror game, in a horror situation. Excuse me, uh, that you can find just crazy people. Where am I from? Uh, high five! I'm from Poland. You probably can tell by my. Interesting accent. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Poland. Uh, if you guys want to know a bit about me in the uh, stream site, on below the stream there is uh, a section about me. Uh, you can also check out the schedule that I usually try to keep when I stream. I don't know if he's gonna stay in that room or move out of it. I would go for it now, but I don't know how long he stays there. Yeah, it's not that long. Okay, and where does he... He goes to this side. Okay, okay. You're from Estonia? Close, so we're close. Very close. Okay, next time he goes in the room, I'll go behind his back. Think. I think that's a good idea. And why do I lean my head sometimes when I lean with the character? Why do I even do that sometimes? Come on, Fatso. I don't hear you, so I don't know how close you are. Yeah, I hear him. Okay. Go in the room. And we're going. Going for it. Going for it. Although, I think I went not in the right spot. Yeah, I have to go there, right? Yep, I have to go there. Hmm. And again, I don't hear him at all. Come 
Come on, if if I go forward and he's gonna be behind the corner, I'm gonna get uh, very annoyed. Dark Rose, you're from Ohio? That's cool, bro. I have few American uh, viewers, actually. I recently noticed that some of my new viewers are from the States. Okay, let's wait for him to get the fuck away from here. Let's hide. And I'll go after him. And go to the room with uh, the second thingy. The Netherlands is like the best lands. <laughs> I'll believe you, bro. Well, you got pot and stuff, right? So. <laughs> what kind of gay thing is happening here, bro? What are you guys doing here? Um. Okay, I'll, I'll leave, you, leave you alone. I'll leave you two alone, okay? Play around if you want. Like, I'm not the one. I'm not the one to judge. I'm not the one to judge. Oh, okay. No complaining. No. We have to wash every little part. Who's a clean baby? Who's a clean baby? Yes, you are, yes! <laughs> this game is so crazy sometimes. Yeah, don't judge him, right? Exactly, I'm not judging him, I'm not judging him. Okay, you know what? Let's use the camera a bit. I want to see that big fucker, I don't know where the hell he is. The dude's not harming anyone. Don't judge him. Yep, I'm not judging, like I said. I'm not judging him. Manly love is, you know, same as regular love. Oh fuck, I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. He got me. And my head. No, my heart. Fuck! I ran right into him. I thought that maybe I'll be able to run by his side. Don't tell me I have to move both of those again really i have to i have to do it again oh god this is gonna be so annoying okay let's let's do it in a different order in that case Run! Run for it! Run! 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 Fuck you! Fuck you, fatso! Uh-uh! Uh-uh! You're too fat for this, huh? You're too fat to go through here! Fuck you! I'll see you later! I'll see you later!
He has nice dental. <laughs> okay, the question now is where is he? Because the, the problem with him is, the only problem with him is that he cannot catch you even for a second. With the other guys, um, they can like stab you once, I think, and they kill you with the second hit. This guy catches you and he rips your head out off or he uh, rips your heart out. So it's basically like a one time thing. No, run! 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 God! Run! Run, bitch! Close the door! Hide, 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 hide. <sighs> yeah, he's scary for me. You can see that I'm scared of that guy. I'm scared of that guy. I'm not gonna lie. Green tea for calming my nerves, and let's wait for him to give it a rest for a second. Yeah, I'm. I'm not scared of ghosts. I'm not scared of. Uh, Aliens are not scared of monsters, but I'm scared of that fucker, like... In real life, if I would see a guy drenched in blood, the size of that guy, yeah, I would run the fuck away and never turn back, like... Well, if I had a shotgun, I wouldn't, but without the weapons, without, like... Uh, a bazooka or, or a shotgun, something that I can, uh, you know, make his head disappear with. Yeah, I, I would run. And you probably would too. That guy is scary as fuck, man. Scary as fuck. You're all about the 420 no scope, you're no casual. Isn't it supposed to be 360? No scope? Or you're just so much uh, better that you need, you can do 420. <laughs> Huskers. Oh. This guy is scary as fuck. Let's wait for him to move here again. And I'll make a run for it. The music in this game is also quite uh, quite good, I, I have to say. I like how the music builds the atmosphere and the, uh, the scary situations. I don't hear him, but he has to be coming here sooner or later. He has to be coming here sooner or later. If I move, move out of this spot here right now and he is in, you know, standing there in my face or going my way, I cannot run away from him. Uh, and w if he catches me even once, he rips my head off. Come on, game. Where is that big fucker? The music kinda indicates that he's close, but where exactly is he?
fun game, where is he? Yeah, that door there, that's that's where I need to go. Uh, music got quiet, so I'm uh, supposed to be safe now. Yeah, I. that's more or less how it works, but music tells you if uh, he is uh, chasing you or not. It doesn't tell you if he's close, I think. Yeah, I can. You can hear him now. So he moved. Uh, he came in the room, in that room, and now when he turns around, I'll be going after him. Look, he's going out, right? Yep, he's going out of here. So we move after him. The music ind uh, indicates and it changes when he is chasing you, but uh, when he is just patrolling and looking for you. Uh, you basically have to figure it out on yourself when is it a good idea to move and when you should avoid moving. Okay. Hide, 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 hide. Don't know if he's gonna be coming here or not, but let's just hide for a second here. <laughs> 